All right, so I hope you had fun getting your hands dirty by learning how to go about importing different kinds of files by using SAS programming. So what I'm going to show you in this lecture will be some SAS syntax. And syntax is simply the set of rules that dictate how your program must be written in order for SAS to understand it. In fact, a SAS program is organized into blocks of code. Those blocks of code are referred to as steps. Remember, there's the data step and the proc step. Both of those will be covered in the first section of the course. The data step, you know you're using it whenever you start a block of code with the data statement, followed by the name that you want to give that data set. And you know that you're using the proc step whenever you start that block of code with the proc state. But let's now talk about the set of rules that you have to follow when you're writing a SAS program. Of course, we want to make sure that SAS understands what we're writing. The first thing are semicolons. In SAS, when you're writing a program, every statement let's say the data statement that starts the data step must end with a semicolon. This generally means that after every line of code, you'll need a semicolon, but not necessarily because sometimes you might have statements that will go over more than one line and the semicolon would only be necessary at the end of that statement. New users often make this mistake. They forget the semicolon at an end of a statement. Comments are another useful element that you can use in your SAS programs. A comment is a line or block of text that SAS is told to ignore during the execution of a program. Comments are about documenting your work. You're telling SAS what the program is about that you're creating. When you have a well-commented program, it helps you remember what your thought process was when you created that program. And if other people have to pick up on your work, they also have a good idea of what's going on with the code. There's two ways to comment when you're writing a SAS program. The first is to add an asterisk at the beginning of the line and add a semicolon at the end of the text being commented out all of the text between the asterisk and the semicolon will then be commented out. The second way is to add a forward slash and an asterisk at the beginning of the comment and place an asterisk and a forward slash at the end of the line, just like this. So now let's discuss how quotation marks are handled in SAS. Let's say that I create a variable or column named name and I set it equals to Ermin, my name. If I want to reference values of a character variable, which name is, I need to put rather apostrophes or quotation marks around it. By doing that, I'm denoting that this is a character variable. Name is a character variable. You do the same thing if you want to assign a title to your output. So titles would have apostrophes or quotation marks around them. And so would a reference to a file directory. And you got to see that in the importing section. But there is one exception to this. Let's say I used the proc step, specifically proc print, and I wanted to include a title and in the text of the title, for example, let's say I typed in John's report, you can see that I used an apostrophe in the title. If you use an apostrophe in your text, you need to use quotation marks or double quotation marks around that value. So one way to discern if you've made a syntax error of this kind before you run your SAS code is to look at the actual value, in this case, the title itself, John's report, and see if 
all that text has the same color all throughout. If it doesn't have the same color throughout, then you know that SAS is having an issue interpreting what it is. Finally, let's consider how formatting works in SAS. So SAS is quite a bit more relaxed than other languages when it comes to capitalization, indentation, and line breaks. So first, SAS is not case sensitive. You can use uppercase or lowercase letters. It's all considered the same, even for your variable names. Indentations or spacing before a statement are simply ignored. Of course, in languages like Python, indentation is important, especially when you're using things like decision structures, if then statements, let's say. Extra lines between statements are also ignored. And even multiple statements on the same line are perfectly fine, provided they are separated by a semicolon. Finally, a statement can span more than one line even as long as, once again, it ends with a semicolon. Now, while the formatting is relaxed, I would still, of course, suggest for best results that you have a consistent method in the way that you write your SAS programs. So, for example, you might decide that when it comes to your variables or your columns, you're always going to use an underscore to denote variables. Well, that's a great idea. Or you might decide that variables are always going to start with a capital letter. Anything that you want, just keep it consistent. Finally, here's an idea of how you can space or indent your programs so that they are more easily readable.